welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we checked out Watery Lighthouse, where we learned a few things. Like the fact that, uh, Ilmo Koskela came up with the idea for the Cult of the Tree while he was drunk and high. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, shout out to Kaleidoscoop, who says, The song at the end of the chapter, the last chapter, I guess, Dark, Twisted, and Cruel, contains lines taken almost one-to-one -one from Thomas Zane's poems in the This House of Dreams shoebox. And I should probably mention that uh, This House of Dreams is a sort of ARG that was pre-advertising Alan Wake 1. It's a like a Tumblr blog of someone just... Oh, I moved into this cabin on the edge of uh, Cauldron Lake, and I've been having weird dreams, and it's just like a journal. And uh, one of the things that happens in this journal is they find an old shoebox containing a bunch of poems from a poet they've never heard of named Thomas Zane. But uh, yeah, they have these quotes here. We pillage and whore hauling our loot. I pillage and I murder, I'm hauling my loot. We swagger down alleys, we don't say please, and the new song goes, I swagger down the alley, I don't say please. We are the rain trickling down became I'm in the rain trickling down, and we are the ants inside your walls became I'm the ants inside your walls. That's very interesting. They seem to be very deliberately leaning into that. And shout out to Elthwar, who says, It's unclear how one becomes a para-utilitarian. It might be possible to become one through interaction with an item. A double check of control suggests that the FBC thinks it comes from objects of power. It's just that some are better at attuning to the OOP than others, so odds are good that Ilmo is at least a minor para-utilitarian. And yeah, that makes sense, I think. Uh... I seem to remember them suggesting that the... the launch artifact in that game... the previous person who uh, made use of it... the best they could do was lifting an object a few inches off the ground, as opposed to Jesse, you know, lifting things up effortlessly and throwing them through the air with such force that they can kill you, or even just ripping a chunk of concrete out of the floor if she doesn't have any objects nearby. Uh, there's my trailer, so it must be this one here opposite it. Here's the deer head. Nothing. Okay. That's another thing to check off the list. Uh, the next one... We're heading to the workshop. Before I do that, I wanted to read a comment. And I need to explain that this particular comment, uh was left before the big reveal of Mr. Scratch. Or at least it was left on a video from before that point, so... Uh... You know, it doesn't quite work out, but it was a really interesting thought, and I wanted to share it all the same. Although it does contain spoilers for another horror game from the early 2000s, you might want to skip ahead a bit if, uh... You're not interested in that part. Just wait till I'm outside, I guess. Ahem! Torek00 says, a shout out. On the topic of one or both Allens being fake, I'm reminded. Yes, this is. Sorry, this is about the idea I had that the, uh, the playable Allen in the Dark Place was actually Mr. Scratch, and the one on this side was real, just to mess with our expectations. Ahem! On the topic of one or both Allens being fake, I'm reminded of the horror FPS Cry of Fear in which you play a young man trapped in a surreal version of the city he calls home, surviving violent encounters with monsters and twisted versions of his loved ones as he tries to figure out what the heck happened. It turns out he had lost the use of his legs, fell into despair, and then created this dream world through intense psychotherapy sessions and channeled all of his rage and frustration into an external shadow archetype of himself a version of himself that could still walk. The last segment of the game is a tense shootout between you, 
uh, controlling the real version of yourself in a wheelchair, now physically in your mind place, and the character you had been controlling the entire game, now twisted into a shadowy humanoid abomination. So I will be saddened, but not entirely shocked, if it turns out the Alan you're controlling is a self-deluding Mr. Scratch undoing Alan's carefully crafted escape plan. Okay. I wonder what it is about the trailer park that uh, draws in the Taken the way it does, where there are almost always dudes there. I think there was an, a suggestion in Dawn of the Dead, the one where they're in a mall, that, uh, oh fuck, I forgot about these things, I actually walked away from the, 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 the screen there for a bit. Okay, fuck it. Uh, just wanted to mention, there was an idea that the reason the mall was so crazy surrounded by zombies is because, uh... Motherfucker! Didn't I just do this? Pretty sure you're dead, buddy. No, no, no! Fuck, where am I? Where am I? I'm off the path. That would have been really, really bad if I hadn't dodged at the last moment. This is a path, buddy. It goes up the side of a hill. Come get some! Running low. Only one this time. That's very odd. I've never seen them without a partner. Oh yeah, I was starting to say that uh, the zombies were coming to the mall because the, like, dim, barely functional part of their brains that was still operating their bodies had this vague memory of going to the mall being something they did all the time. Like the whole fucking movie was a commentary on consumerism. Okay, uh, screwdriver lock behind me. Why in the world would that be here? Oh, it was this. It had to be this. It's an empty box here on the side of a tree. Okay. So that's just an icon that failed to go away. That's fine. Oh, Christ! when I damaged. Okay, let's see. One full <laughs> magazine. Can I still look at this? Oh, the edges of my screen are swimming because my health is so low. She's about to pass out or something. Okay, first aid kit. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Valhalla Nursing Home Charm. 
now, first aid kit. Oh. Hi there! Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, one down! That's two. Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. Fucking A, man! Okay, we're gonna take the other path back. We're not going back to the uh, the trailer park. Is this it? Oh no, this is the puzzle plateau. That's right. The uh, this puzzle here. Let's get recruiting. Right, they actively wanted uh, Tor and uh, Odin to join. It is really interesting to me the way they successfully painted the, uh, you know, no pun intended. The, uh, the cult of the tree is being, like, the, the objective bad guys this entire time. <coughs> then you find out it was basically just neighborhood watch. I was expecting to find a ton of uh, handgun ammo in here. What did that do again? The anchor charm, chance to stun enemy on flashlight boost. Nice if some uh, nice week taken showed up for me to get ammo off their bodies, but uh, with my luck, it'll be four more wolves and a giant. Here we are, the Kalevala Knights Workshop. if anyone else has observed uh, explosive canisters falling harmlessly from the sky. You know, so not usually it's the sound that uh, catches me off guard here. This time it was the movement of that guy. Thought there was a Taken standing on the float. If you look through the lore and the fact that the cult were a bunch of goofs is uh, very well supported, but I believed it all the way to the end. Okay, here we are. No, nothing. So I guess that's another name off the list. Hmm. 
Well, there's only one more in all of Watery. Unfortunately, I have to go through the theme park to get there. May God have mercy on my soul. God of luck from Dungeons and Dragons, because I can make a joke about that too. You know, may they bless my uh, sense of direction. Okay, standing here, I will check this thing. Ready? Here are the footsteps. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Lost him, and he just ran right the fuck at me! Then the fact that these cult guys... Fuck. No! The fuck is this? Damn it! There you are, you piece of shit! I'm never gonna get used to this. Oh man. That was way closer than I would have liked, huh? Fat fingers, I get. All the shells I have are now contained inside of that. Here's the thing: the way that the the the, the cultist taken move is differently than the one than the way the other ones move. They like they don't run around shaking their heads all crazy and waving their arms like maniacs. They stride with purpose. And I was thinking about that, you know, during the break, because, of course, the cult is not actually affiliated with the darkness. And, uh... The conclusion I came to is that the darkness is intentionally fucking with us. Scratch knows we're looking into the cult of the tree as, uh, you know, the you know, the murderers as the perpetrators of this AWE, all of it. Where the fuck am I meant to be going? Straight past the gift shop, okay. So I think that, uh, it's very much... Well, it made those taken differently, so that we would think there was something different about the cultists as opposed to any of the other victims of the, uh of the dark. Maybe they had more control over themselves, or whatever. What a disorganized mess. Can I not stack those in any, uh... No. Rocket flares are, uh... That's what was bothering me earlier. 
the map said flare gun ammo, but there is no flare gun in this side. Uh, only Allen gets that. See, distracting us with, uh... Red herrings, like, you know, setting up the cult like that. That's not something that Barbara Jagger would have given a shit about, but it very much seems up, uh, Scratch's more duplicitous alley. Like, recall that... Jagger's method of taking people was literally to open a hole in reality and pull them through. Still too good. Ranger's Cabin of Watery. I thought there was a man on the roof. I don't like the fact that the door is open, but I do that. Well, there's the timer, but surely I have enough time to look around. Ah! friend. Nope. Nothing. Not this one. Well, if that's the case, then I am fairly confident that it's not in Watery. So that's a whole third of the list checked off. Hey, we're making progress, folks. I think I'll head back through the woods. Fights there are a bit less confusing. If uh, nothing of any importance happens between now and then, I'll pick up uh, next to the Suomi Hall. Otherwise, I'll see you when I see you. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When we head back to, uh... Hmm. Let me check something. Share the plan with Casty and Estevez, so the last place we're going is uh, Bright Falls, I guess. Suppose that can't hurt with Bright Falls. I'll have to wander all the way over to, uh... I guess that doesn't really matter, because I have to go all the way to the edge on both of them. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here, when I should be doing an outro. So, uh, once again, from the top, I'm Burning Dog Face. I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2. And until then, take care of yourselves. Don't go out in the rain. And stay in the light. <laughs>